Hi guys and love, welcome back to my channel and today I'm in a different filming space so I prefer this filming space, I'm not gonna lie <laughs> I I don't know, I feel like this looks better I like all the colours in here, I just feel it looks more cohesive I like the background, yeah that's it I think I'm gonna be filming in here for a lot, like a lot more Today I'm gonna be talking about a Helix person so since the last time I saw you guys I have had five persons <laughs> So by five, I mean I got my seconds, I got my thirds, and then I got my helix. So five piercings, as in in total, not in one ear, as in just five in total. It was an experience. So I got my seconds and my thirds done, which were barely an issue. My seconds I didn't feel, my thirds, slight issue with my right ear just because of the, um, their placement and the gun got a bit caught, I think. Um, but my helix, I was really not expecting this from like just just different things I did not expect to come with this piercing um, and I'll, I'm just going to go over everything in this video for people who have no idea about piercings, tattoos, pain tolerance, anything to do with that. First of all I'm going to say before you go in I recommend that you have a meal so have some food at home as in a proper food not just like a biscuit proper food have something at home or go for lunch beforehand or at least eat afterwards as well and have a drink because the adrenaline only lasts so long when you get it and it lasts but then you come down from that adrenaline you can get a bit faint some people do faint some people get a bit dizzy um it's a bit of a shock as well which i'll go into a shock in a minute i do recommend eating something beforehand because it just makes it a lot easier it gives your body something to run on to help you deal with the pain and stuff so i just recommend that it's just it's helpful it really is helpful to be having a piercing on a full stomach. I see what I'm going to is what the piercing looks like. So my piercing is here. It's a little stud. That's what you get. And I'm just going to show you the back. So the back, it literally is, it comes out quite a lot. And it's a flat back to it. It's not a butterfly back. And um, yeah, that's what it looks like. The front is what screws on. So that is the back. So there is quite a bit at the back. I will say masks are a nightmare with this piercing um they do get caught on it because your mask sits behind your ear they will get caught on it um i will recommend if you have glasses have the mask behind the glasses let's talk about the pain so my pain for it i got told half and half for this so some people told me it was the worst pain ever they cried it was horrible um and some people said i didn't even feel it i didn't know what to expect really but i expected it to hurt it's I mean, let's see that. It is a needle that's pushing through your skin in an area of your ear which you have never had pierced before. It's gonna hurt. <laughs> so I wouldn't say that it was terrible. Um, I, I think it was unexpected in my opinion that it lasted longer than I expected. I just expected it to go through and the piercing to be done. But it was more of a, it goes through. We're gonna try and put the piercing, the, the jewelry on. We're gonna now try and screw the jewelry on. Now you're done, but you need to hold it because there's a lot of blood. So it takes longer than expected. And that's why it hurts is because you have the pain for so long while they're trying to fiddle around with it. Um, it does feel very hot. That was the one feeling I definitely had afterwards. It's very hot. It's not sore afterwards. It's just, it's warm because of the fresh hole you have in your ear now. As I said, this is done with a needle. It is not done with a gun. It should not be done with a push-pull gun at all. If, it, if your piercer comes at you with a gun for this one, do not let them do that. Say, nope, I want a needle. You are in your, you're within your right to ask for a needle if you want a needle. It might be a little bit extra to get a needle done for like, that's what it was for the thirds. If I wanted it done with a, with a needle, they said you can pay five pound extra to do it with a needle or it's just five pound off with a push pull because they can do that with a gun. This should never be offered with a gun. Um, the reason I say this is because they can very easily shatter the cartilage. I know that for definite. And you don't want that at all. <laughs> if you end up having an issue with like scar tissue and stuff, you might not actually ever be able to have that pissed again. I know that some people after it's healed, after having it done with a needle, they can get it re-pissed if they want in the future. Um, but if there is scar tissue and stuff, I don't know everything about this, but this is what I believe. Um, this... If you get a scar if you get scar tissue there you can't get repissed just because it can be more prone to infection and there can be a lot more risks with it and your piercer will just refuse it so if your piercer comes at you with a gun to do your helix piercing say no you ask for a needle it will go a lot smoother with a needle on this bump and also they will they have more accuracy 
if they do it with a needle. Placement. Now this is something I didn't know about. <laughs> so they do ask you if you want it higher or lower on placement and I had no idea about placement. So I'm very happy with where mine is. Like I'm not bothered. Maybe I would have liked it slightly higher up but I, I didn't want it any more painful. But to my knowledge, apparently the higher up it goes, the more painful it is. So I don't know if that's true, but you can ask for it to be slightly higher up. They will ask you, by the way, they'll put like a dot as in they'll, they'll mark where you want it, where they want it to be. They'll ask you, is that okay? Is that the right placement? Just check that it is because once it's done, it's done. You can't really change it. <laughs> I really underestimated how much blood this is going to create. Um, obviously, um, when I had these pierced, there was... Well, I say obviously, when I had my seconds and my thirds first, and my firsts, I had no blood, no issue with blood or anything, nothing came out. But with this one, there was a lot, like, it was dripping, there was that much. <laughs> so I will say they will give you a paper towel, if not, just ask for a tissue or something, and you will need to put pressure on it for... I put pressure on mine for about 20 minutes to half an hour while I was waiting for my food. <laughs> so I do recommend doing that. You will probably have to move the tissue around to soak up more in a different area. You just need to be prepared for that. And if you are somebody who's not really okay with blood, I just, I think you should really prepare yourself for that because there will be quite a lot and there's nothing you can do to change that. Piercing up here is quite a big change. So you may have a live moment and have a little freak out in the middle of Burger King, <laughs> which is what I did. Um, the thing you need to remember is it's not the end of the world, it's a piercing, it's literally a tiny piercing and it's not the end of the world if it really, it will shock you um, but it's not the end of the world so I keep saying that you have a piercing. It did shock me a lot, I did cry actually <laughs> afterwards, not from the pain, not from anything like that, not from the blood, just from the shock because I did not expect it. Because when you look at pictures online, you never expect what it'll look like on you. And when you see it, it was very daunting. It's a big change, really. You're changing something that's been the same, like been that way for a long time. It will look a bit scary. It will look a bit like, oh my God, it looks so bad. Like there's so much blood. Like, it just looks really bad. That's what I kept thinking. But you need to remember when you get home, the redness will go down. You can clean up all the blood. It will die down over the next few days, the pain you will start to like it and that's what you got to remember you liked the pictures you liked the stuff that you were able to do with it like as in the piercings that you'd be able to get for it there is no difference now it's only because it looks red and it looks inflamed and there's dry blood around it that's all you need to remember last thing i will say is remember to clean it especially on the first week definitely clean it every day so i was told to clean all my piercings two times a day for six weeks and I definitely would do that. <laughs> so for the first week, I definitely was very, I had a routine with it and I made sure to do that because I'm gonna just say it, at night my piercings bled quite a bit on the first week. So I did need to keep cleaning them up. I didn't want them to get infected. You do not want them to get infected. That is the worst thing that could possibly happen or one of the worst things. Um, but if you notice any changes though, go back to your piercer, like, cause they will help you. Like, you paid for that, you paid for their service. They will help you if there is like a problem, they will tell you if it looks bad or if that you're just panicking and it looks fine. Um, but if it gets really bad to the point where like maybe your ear as in the back of your, if your earring gets sucked into your ear. And by that, I mean, sometimes the ear can, um, there can be a bit of a, a big infection and it can enclose around your ear, earring. Um, then go to the doctor. You really will need to go to the doctor or the hospital if it gets really a, a big issue. Don't leave it because it won't just fix itself. You will need someone to help you with that. So I think that's just something to remember. Just please take care of it. And if you notice any big changes, go to your PSU, your doctor or the hospital. I'll tell you now how mine is after a week. So at the beginning of the week, when I first got this done, I could not sleep on this piercing. I could not touch it. I, it really hurt me. Um, it really it was really inflamed, but it's just your body. It's just your body trying to clean it and stuff and heal it. So that's just something to remember. I will say it gets better. So within a week, I'm, I'm, how long ago did I get mine done? I'm nearly at two weeks with this piercing. So I'm just over a week, nearly at two weeks. I'm like a week and a half. And mine, I can touch it. Like I can move it. Like it's fine. Um, I can clean it without it hurting. I don't have any issues with it. I can sleep on it. It's a bit uncomfortable. It's still a bit sore. 
um but it's not like it doesn't make me it doesn't hurt really i can sleep on it i can sleep on both sides like my piercings don't really hurt that much i do tend to sleep on this side more because it really doesn't hurt at all this one it's a little bit painful but you can sleep on it um i can hug people on that side now so um i had to hug my boyfriend on the right for a long time <laughs> because it just hurt too bad to hug him for the first like week on that side and now i'm at the point where i can hug him on that side and it doesn't hurt i hope that video helped you guys in any way it could have um if you've got any more questions about piercings and helix piercings or any piercings in general please ask me down below and i'll 100 percent do a video on whatever you ask if you have any video suggestions please tell me down below and i will definitely get to doing them because i need suggestions guys um but yeah i might do a video on my seconds and my thirds for those who are really curious about getting it done uh yeah so if you're going to get your helix good luck tell me how it went and yeah Subscribe down below, click the bell notification to be notified every single time I upload a video and go follow me on TikTok. I said glow, <laughs> wow. Go follow me on TikTok. My TikTok name is babyraw1913. We're currently on 11.7K, which is amazing. So thank you guys so much. Go follow me on that and tell me that you're from YouTube and that really helps me out. And I'll go give you a little hi if you do that. Um, so yeah, go follow me on there and I'll see you guys in the next video.